Hello, it's Gene again, uh, Man U Fanatic. If you watch me for Manchester United reviews, or just Gene, so you, um, I'm just going to do my second. I talked about earlier about uh, the guilty pleasures um, part two, and I decided I want to do another one, and so I'm going to start over right now. Uh, Knight's Tale. Uh, starting um, Lee Heath Ledger, uh, Bat Batman fame uh, as the Joker. Um, I really like this movie. Um, it has a kind of a, um, it's obviously a set in the past, but they use uh, like 80s music through it. So uh, it's kind of fun, something to watch, uh, like you're not nothing to do and Maybe it's a Sunday, or it's raining outside, and you just want to watch something that uh, the good guy wins at the end. That's a good thing. Um, so I watch this probably four or five times a year. Um, so it definitely is one of those ones that I watch over and over again. Another one from about that same time, The Patriot. Um, as much as I like uh, uh, his other movie that he did, that he directed, uh, Brett Braveheart. Um, this movie kind of gets to me sometimes because uh, I know most people have seen this movie. Um, but Losing the Sons, the way he does. Um, but I know a lot of people have problems with uh, Mel Gibson, but I like this movie, and it's another movie I watch all the time. If it's on TV, I'll start watching it, and then when it starts all the like uh, commercials, then I go downstairs and I get my, my Blu-ray with it and watch it. So, um, just like the movie. Uh, Perfect we Weapon that came out. Uh, it's a good movie. Uh, I don't think that, that Jeff Speakin ever really had anything more than this. Um, but it was his, this was his debut. And, uh, you know, it's a martial arts type of movie. And, uh, you know, I definitely watch this a lot, too. Um, I had a DVD for a long time. I think I had the BS, VHS, VHS. I used to watch it just for the fight scenes. But it's still a good movie. So if you don't know who this is, um, if you're into action or um, martial arts, uh, the name is Perfect Weapon. Um, it was like seven bucks at uh, Best Buy. Let's try it. This one. I love the movie. All right, I love the songs in it, and I'll watch it at least once a year. Um, usually around Christmas, we'll put it on. Um, it's uh, I know some people who are Christians and stuff don't like stuff like this, but uh, it was pretty good. And uh, you know, you should watch it at least once just to see it. But I'll watch, like I say, once a year at least, or uh, a couple times a year, uh, just for the performances and the songs. This is probably one of the most um, acclaimed action movies in in the world. Inferno, Inner, in, Infernal Affairs. It is uh, basically the. Um, I think it was a movie that that they made pay, part, part, departed from, and uh, it's, it's, uh, well, it does say on the front, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it expired. The, it inspired the Departed. And the, the part of what all those movie or all those rewards. So, uh, definitely a good movie to watch. Uh, I think you can get it for about 10 bucks if you look for it. Sometimes I buy these overseas because it's cheaper that way. Um, but a very good movie. And I watch it probably three or four times a year, too. This is a cult classic, Heathers, uh, back when uh, these two guys weren't so. Infamy, infamous, um, you know, before Cle Cle Christian later started doing stupid stuff and Wynonen and Ryder did. But it's, uh, it's a very good movie. It's dark humor. Um, just, it's, it's always to go back to look at movies from that time. And this is one of those, and I'm sure this is a lot of people's guilty pleasures like mine. Um,
It's about a psycho psy psychopath. The question is which one is more psycho. <laughs> One of my favorite uh, horror, horror movies, uh, Descent. Um, the movie is, uh, they, they kind of bastardized it on the, uh, so they could have a second and third one. Um, uh, the movie is the original, The Descent. If you watch it all the way through and watch the ending, that's the way the movie should have stopped and there should have been no uh, sequels. Although I like the second one, but um, this, this, this woman that, or whatever, the women that are in these group and their their descent into hell, uh, whether it's in the mind or it's just what's going around, and uh, it's it's a great movie. And if you haven't seen it and you like horror, or if you like psychological th thrillers, this is the movie for you. I'm sure that not many people would have this on their list, but uh, I think this is uh, Kristen Stewart's. Um, best role and played it well as uh, she is uh, Joan Jett and I, I think that she did a very good job of doing being the J Joan Dett, Jett um, this is about the uh, the runaways that they had before like Lita Ford and um, uh, Joan Jett uh, went on their own way but it's a very good movie and uh, she really is uh, when I first saw this movie I thought that she was going to be a star and she is a star but she, 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 I think most people will say that she's not really the greatest actor ever, but she was good in this movie. And uh, certainly I watch it because it's another movie that reminds me of, you know, in the 80s uh, when I was young and uh, the movie, or the, uh, mu the, the music that we watched back there. So, yeah, it's a, uh, I'm trying to see if there's any more on there on the back, but cherry bomb <laughs> so good stuff like that stuff probably one of them probably my top five or ten it would be my top ten movies of all time is Fargo and I have to watch this probably four or five times a year so if it comes on TV it's I, I have to watch it and the, the performances are so good and uh, I think it's obviously theirs best movie um, Joel and Ethan Cohen. I think this is their best movie, and uh, you know it's a lot of dark humor, but just a great movie. And it's a type of movie that you don't have to have all these C, uh, CGI and that type of stuff. You can just watch this movie and look at the uh, characters to play displayed, and the uh, it's just you know it's it's something that everybody who who is in the movies should watch a movie like this if you haven't already seen it. Uh, I know it has a series right now, and I guess it's, it's supposed to be pretty good. I watched a couple, a couple um, episodes, but you know it's hard for me to because the Fargo, uh, the original cast. I don't. It's hard for me to watch other people trying to play the same type of thing. But anyway, uh, still one of the great movies of American film, probably in the last thirty years. And the last is something that's. Uh, got uh, him a start before he became the uh, director of probably the most um, profitable trilogies of all time. Now two of them. Uh, the Lord of the Rings uh, and uh, the second one he did is Dead Alive that Peter Jackson Peter Jackson Peter Jackson, yes, directed. It's a horror movie. A um, lot of gore. Um, if you go on Google or something like that and just put in Dead Alive, it'll talk about some of the most uh, gore ever in a movie. There's a couple scenes that it's pretty crazy. Um, it's settled in, I think it's in New, New Zealand where it starts. But anyway, uh, it's funny. Um, gore. Uh, it's a great movie <laughs> for those who are into that. Uh, and you could, it's another, ep ep epis another ep ep example of a director that started off uh, in horror with his and got on to something you know greater like uh, J uh, Sam Raimi and now uh, Peter Jackson and uh, the guy that did Man uh, Plans Labyrinth Lad Labyrinth um, 
Uh, forget his name. Dortel. Ooh, I'll get it. Yeah. Uh, Calambro Dortero. <laughs> it's just hard for me to say his name. Uh, another one of one of my favorite movies that are just wasn't a part of this uh, view view or video, but it is now. <laughs> so uh, another good movie and another guy that started off as horror and has gone on to other things. So that is my part two of my guilty 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 pleasures. Uh, I may do a third one later on. Um, so. You know, it just depends if, if people are going to watch this or not. So, hope you like my hair. <laughs> I just got sick. Mine was getting too long. Uh, so, this is what I have. You guys have a good day.